Hi, I'm Masha Davis, a registered dietitian nutritionist in private practice and media and communications. I am going to be reviewing some popular K-pop diets and looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly in these diets. So the first diet that we're looking at is was popularized by Jin and Jimin from the K-pop group BTS. On this diet, Jin used to have four chicken breast fillets for almost a year, and it sounds like he didn't have much else. That sounds crazy. This diet is really, really extreme. And of course, you're going to lose weight on something like this, especially if you're cutting out all of these other food groups and nutrients, but you will also become probably malnourished. So I would say this is a no-go and a pretty dangerous diet. I would recommend something with a lot more balance. While chicken is a great source of protein, it shouldn't be your only meal. So I would recommend to have some chicken along with some grains, some vegetables, and some fruits, healthy fats, all of these other things that are really essential to being healthy and nourishing our bodies for proper functioning. This is an interesting one. This is the paper cup diet, and this was popularized by the girl group Nine Muses. According to this diet plan, all the meals in your day should fit within three paper cups, with some people even saying that these should be three ounce paper cups, which are pretty tiny, and they should be filled with rice, side dishes and fruits and veggies. Ideally, the side dishes are low in sodium and fat, and this diet is meant to be a way to help with portion control, but it's relatively loose in terms of what you actually put in the cups. Of course, on this diet, you're going to lose weight because you're limiting your intake of food so drastically and eating these tiny portions. Now, I like the fact that they are promoting portion control, but these portions are pretty ridiculous. I mean, who eats three ounce paper cup amount of food for an entire meal? That sounds highly restrictive. That can lead to cravings, which can lead to binging, and that is just a really unhealthy cycle to be in. I would recommend to go ahead and eat those three meals a day, and instead of using the paper cups for portion control, use a small to medium-sized plate and focus on eating mindfully, listening to your body's hunger and fullness cues to tell you when you've had enough to eat. So the next diet is the morning banana diet. So this calls for a banana or multiple bananas and room temperature water for breakfast. You can eat anything you like for lunch and dinner, though preferably something that's healthy, and you have to eat by 8 p.m. You can also have a mid-afternoon snack, which can be a banana, and, and then one of the other components of this is that you have to go to sleep before midnight. This is also called the Asa banana diet, and supposedly it was designed to help increase metabolism. It's supposed to encourage healthy eating practices like getting in more fruit and helping one become more aware of feelings of hunger and fullness especially by keeping a diet journal. And those participating in this diet are supposed to stop eating when they're about 80% full. And this became popular in Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan after it went viral on Japan's social networks and was featured on TV. After the feature, bananas flew off the shelves. So In Young is the K-pop idol who is most commonly mentioned in relation to this diet. And some people claim that she lost six kilograms, which is about 12 pounds, within four weeks due to this diet. So I guess what she was eating is one to two bananas in the morning, two cups of water, healthy, non-greasy Korean lunch, half a banana or one banana when feeling hungry as a snack, and for dinner, she would have a Korean meal mostly composed of rice and herbs. I see a few really great things here. The fact that there's a lot of flexibility throughout the day and the fact that you're getting more fruit intake. But the fact that it's 
kind of rigidly limiting it to bananas and telling people to eat multiple bananas throughout the day seems a little bit silly. Also in the morning, you may need something more substantial than just a banana, which is, you know, just carbs and sugar. I recommend that people have something that has a little bit more protein in the morning. So it's a personal decision, but I think this isn't too restrictive, so it's not, it's not so terrible, but I think there are there are better ways to eat than being on the banana diet. Our next diet is called the deadly diet. This was popularized by Korean singer Wee Sung, who revealed his post-diet body in which he lost as much as 30 kilograms on this extreme diet plan, which is described as eating chicken breasts with salad, without dressing. When starving, you can snack on a few almonds. You're supposed to take vitamin C and multivitamins regularly, drink twice as much water, and all other foods are not allowed. He also described his workouts, saying to do lots of abs, weight training, speed walking, and he said, don't do it all at once. When it gets too hard, rest for a day and eat as much as you want. Exercise should always be done Happy, happy, don't strain yourselves. And some people have said that the name of the diet came from critics who questioned the small portions and called the diet deadly. I would agree. This is pretty, pretty extreme. Eating only chicken breasts and salad and snacking on a few almonds is not really advised. This can lead to really low blood sugar, nutrient deficiencies. It can also make you constipated because you're not getting very many whole grain, no whole grains at all. So you're missing out on a lot of fiber and a lot of other nutrients. And I would imagine that you'd probably have pretty low energy if you did this for more than a few days. Instead of this, what I would recommend is making the meals a lot more balanced. So if you're going to have the chicken and the salad, including some sort of healthy grain with it, some sort of whole grain like brown rice or whole grain toast, switching it up with a little bit more variety in the diet so you're not just eating chicken every single day because you're probably gonna get sick of that pretty quick. So our next fad diet is from Sol Hyung of the group AOA. And according to this regimen, there is really strict portion control. You can only eat certain foods and there's even more extreme methods like doing only liquids. In one of the Korean TV shows, it was revealed that Sol Hyun was only allowed to eat sweet potato, chicken breasts, and boiled eggs. Sounds like she potentially cried because of hunger while being on this diet. That's not a good sign. Now, in a recent interview, she said that it was all lies and that she didn't actually do this diet, which is pretty good news because I think this diet is really extreme. The sweet potatoes are a good source of carbs and some vitamins, vitamin A. The chicken breasts and boiled eggs are great sources of protein. However, you're missing all the greens, all the grains, a lot of other fruits and veggies. So this is super restrictive. And I would imagine that if anyone tried this, they would probably cry from hunger as well. Our next fad K-pop diet is supposedly popularized by Park Boom of the group 21. Supposedly, she was on a one food diet where for periods of time, she would only eat corn, lettuce, or watermelon. However, her trainer supposedly set the record straight and said that this was a distortion and that she was eating watermelon instead of rice. The trainer was trying to shift her more Western style diet into a healthier diet, which included five meals a day. So three main meals and two snacking meals with corn and nuts because those were some of her favorite foods. So it sounds like these rumors of just eating the corn maybe got started that way. They also said that watermelon is a great fruit that satiates and it was only chosen to help block out her snacking. It wasn't eaten as a substitute for other meals or other foods. And I guess she also wanted to set the record straight. However, the trainer did give her a strict diet menu and a diet planner to record her meals, which was supposed to help reinforce her healthy eating habits. 
I like the fact that she was tracking her meals and working on shifting to healthier habits, having three meals a day and two snacks. I think that's a great way to eat. I definitely would never recommend a one food diet to any of my patients or clients. That is also disordered eating and a way to miss out on a lot of nutrients and potentially even mess up your metabolism. So I'm glad that she set the record straight and said that she didn't actually follow a one food diet. I think a lot of these stars feel a lot of pressure to look a certain way, probably in a short amount of time, and they do really extreme things to try and achieve that. And as a health expert, I would never recommend doing something like this to anyone, including these stars, because it can lead to eating disordered habits, even health issues. You might see the extreme results, but they're probably very temporary and very unhealthy. My recommendation would be to seek out qualified professional guidance from someone like a registered dietitian nutritionist to help you meet your specific needs and goals instead of following something that's really extreme and even dangerous that you see online.